We've been talking for several weeks now about poverty in Alabama, and one nonprofit in Selma is committed to making a change. Joining us now in studio with Morris, president and CEO of Edmund Knight Missions, Chad McEachern. Chad, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thank you. I appreciate being here. And I'm just telling you that our stories this evening will focus on the Dallas County area. Remind us what you all do in Dallas County. Sure, so uh, we are a Catholic nonprofit, been in Selma since 1937. And so uh, this past week we celebrated our uh, 86th anniversary wow. uh, being in Selma. And so we are uh, embedded in the community and, can, and will be there for, uh, for, uh, for a very long time. What does poverty look like in Dallas County and how is it different maybe from other counties? You know, I, I think one of the things that's very different uh, for us is that we are a city, uh, but we lack a lot of what many might think a city should have. And certainly the economic drivers, you know, with 40% uh, of our families live in poverty and 60% of our children are in poverty. And so, you know, one of the things that, that makes it so difficult is that uh, whether it's at the federal, the state or the local level, making poverty a priority. Uh, we've got to change the narrative, and that's what the missions uh, over the last several years has really tried to do. Uh, while we continue to focus on nutrition and education, uh, one of our biggest initiatives right now is uh, self-reliance and uh, working on that with our apprenticeship programs, uh, which are paid. Um, but one that I'm really, really excited about is our uh, Black Farmers Initiative, uh, really trying to change the economic uh, environment in which uh, many of our black farmers find themselves. And so so we offer uh, grants that allow them to actually uh, plant uh, and purchase seeds off season so that they're ready to plant when it's ready. Uh, and then we procure them at our Bosco Nutrition Center. Uh, and they're also able to distribute them throughout the area working in partnership with a Deep South Food Alliance. And so uh, trying to create some economic real impact change uh, on, in the lives of, of those farmers and in the communities in which they, they till the soil every day. Uh, and they, they, uh, we've had last year was our, this our uh, first year, uh, and they already increased production by 40%. Wow. Uh, and two of the farmers that we're working with have ha had to hire additional uh, folks to work on the farm with them. So there's an economic multiplier happening uh, in the Black Belt region uh, through the mission's efforts to really get at the systemic uh, issues that, that prevent folks from moving up, up the ladder, if you will. Now, Chad, I don't think you've been in Dallas County for 85, 86 years. I have not. <laughs> but how has poverty, how has that community changed since you all first started? You know, I, I think so. It has changed in a, in a multiple of, of ways where um, it, it used to be, uh, well, Selma in it has a history, obviously, of the, the voting rights and all of those, those types of historic uh, landmarks. Uh, what's changed now is I think that the narrative, there used to always be a real sense of hope, a real sense of we can do it if we're together. And I think some of the divisions that have, that have crept into the United States, you know, we're, we're not immune to those. Uh, the fact that, that industries and um, employment are difficult, education is not necessarily what it should be, where we have uh, kids in third grade that aren't reading at third grade level. Uh, and so we're working on educational pieces. We're trying to create and once again build what the family looks like today, which is oftentimes grandparents raising their grandchildren or, or whatever the case may be. So really trying to partner and be within the community as we always have been. Um, and what used to be where we could, you know, hand out sandwiches or, or feed, now it's much, we have to do much more to change the narrative uh, and be more invested in the community with economic uh, impact uh, to change, to actually change what's going to uh, affect the next generation of, of folks in the black belt. How can people in the community support what you all do? Sure. Well, obviously, financial support is always wonderful, and they can do that through our website, uh, www.edmunditemissions.org. Uh, they could call us uh, and speak to one of our program directors, and we can direct them in the right direction. Um, and, and those would be the best ways. Uh, but, but the most important thing I think anyone can do is to view poverty as a priority really view the folks that are impacted by poverty as worthy, uh, to let them know that they are worthy of investment, worthy of, of our time, of our energy, and of our money to change life for all of us. Chad, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Appreciate being here.